Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing the Lancaster Crisis at the Call Center. Um, this is obviously from the Lancaster series from Jeremy Fisher. Yesterday we actually played one of his games, which was... Which was, which was... Uh, the Lancaster Entity Exam. That's what it was, that's what it was. But um, yeah, there's three games. This one, and then there's another one which I believe takes place in a park. I'm not sure, I'm guessing that based off the name, and also I don't remember the name. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this one is about a call center, so let's see what's up with it. Anyway, for best experience, it's just graphics and wear headphones and turn off the lights. Okay, well, shit, go back to the lights then. But, um, yeah. I have my little, my little ring light right here. Um, uh, yeah, anyway. Let's start. <coughs> Valerie is still missing. Okay, so this is clearly still related to the previous game, kind of the same storyline, because if you guys do remember, we did talk about Valerie last game. Perhaps we have to take... Okay. Damn! Anyway. If the cover-up of one death wasn't enough, how about multiple? Okay, so clearly they're taking shots at the ERD. We all know the ERD. Mm -mm, we can fuck with that, but anyway. You know, the one you facilitated. So, we did that as per usual. As we do. Alright, let's see what's up. <clears throat> FBI warning. The information conveyed through this debrief slash training tape pertains to a prior investigation. It is imperative that agents refrain from viewing this material unless they possess the appropriate clearance and are under the direct supervision of an instructor. Any failure to comply with this directive will result in the prosecution to the fullest extent possible under the Espionage Act of 1917. Actually, if you guys didn't know, this is basically the Espionage Act of 1917 is basically where you can't give any information, you can't make any information public that could harm the U.S. government. So any information they have on the U.S. government that could harm its integrity, uh, yeah, basically you can't do it and you will, pretty sure you will be deemed, um, uh, what's it called, traitor? No. Right, yeah, traitor or like treason towards the state, something like that. But uh, yeah, anyway, you have been warned. <clears throat> Case number 305837, tape purpose, debrief, date 03-21-1996, clearance, TS, case type, entity, capability test, entity, present, status, resolved. Alright. DNL call center. The case focuses on the events that transpired at BNL Call Center. Location is irrelevant except that the entity was detected three days before event. The employees weren't notified. Entity Research and Defense ERD Task Force promptly set up wiretaps and social engineered access into security cameras and computers. Ashley Johnson. Ashley Johnson, 31, was a single mother who worked at the call center and put in extra hours performing janitorial service. During the events, the entity selected her as a target, especially during the after hours. This tape focuses on the unpre unprecedented interactions Johnson had with the entity and services as a basis for future research into E-139. Alright. The chronological events of the entity capability test will begin starting with the first time the entity was captured on film. Which was? Are we going to capture it on film? Do we do the capturing? Okay, so after it's done restarting, you're going to see a black screen with <coughs> Go ahead and press the on the other That's a pretty small call center, not going to lie. No, sir. It's a copy machine in the break room is broken again. Damn. Again. Why is bro just... He's like standing like this. It's bro the entity. Pause 1, date 03-21-1996, no usual activities, wiretaps, cameras, and computer spyware operational. Subject begins after hour work. Okay. Subject went to a computer to see nightly task. E. Okay, so E doesn't do anything. Oh, okay, that's us. Word. Oh. Okay. These controls are kind of weird. Not saying they're bad, they're just weird. The spy word allowed access to what subject was being before moving on to task. Okay, so this is E. Okay, all right, awesome. 
Why is this on top of this? That makes no sense. Bring this one forward. Anyway. Can I recycle it? 1610. Anyway, um, nightly task. Hey, Ashley. Could you make sure to take out the security, break room, and storage room trash? I can't think of anything else, so tonight will be a quick one. Thanks, James. Alright, Mr. James, I got you. Wait, hold on. Give me a minute, because these controls are kind of... Kind of whack. There we go. Okay. Is that a door? Oh, it is. Okay. What is this? Uh oh, this is the meeting room. Okay. Did he say meeting room? Where's the trash bin? Well, I don't think so. What this room? Okay, so we can't go in there. Can we run? Oh, we can. Okay, awesome. It's in here. This is security room. Oh, okay. Trash. All right. These controls are so whack. I'm not gonna lie though. That's kind of cool. How like we're playing through the perspective of the camera. I think it's actually really cool. That reminds me of this uh, one game by Puppet Combo, the uh, Murder House. I don't know if you guys know Murder House, but there's like a scene where you're playing the character through the eyes of like a camera, like you're not in first person. Are these the trash bags we're gonna take? No. Oh wait, never mind. I see it. Whoa, wait, hold on, how do I get out? Okay, there we go. Damn, whack ass fucking control. Alright. And let's go get the last piece of trash. Wait, no. What do we want here? Wait, there was like a room over here. That's an elevator. What about here, though? Okay, no, never mind. Okay. So, let me see. There's like an open room. Oh, there's a room right here. Oh, yeah, there's trash right here. Okay, so we can only take two bags at a time. Interesting. We can't hold another one. Be for real. Do better. Total film coverage was achieved using hidden cameras. Really? Not in the fucking... In the woman's bathroom is crazy. And th that's the men's bathroom. That's nuts. Okay. Y'all some freaks for real. That's illegal as fuck. Anyway. Do we go through here? No. Hallway 1. Anyway, alright, let's go. Well, I'm gonna go over here. I don't know if I missed the door over here. And we still gotta go get the other trash bag. Oh, these doors right here. Awesome. Okay, damn. Damn! That is loud. It's loud. That's a loud ass fucking what's it called trash throwing that, that's what that is there's a door here can't go there okay anyway all right no i did not mean to do that there you go you have to get the last one hey, look at the way she's walking she's walking like a model though like she over here walking like she's in a What's it called? Like those those fashion shows? Y'all know what I'm talking about? She's doing the catwalk. Look at her. Mm-hmm. Look at that. She may be 31, but she still got it. And she may be a single mom, but she still got it. Look at her. Okay, Ashley. I see you. Okay, now why is that open? <laughs> That's such a funny-ass fucking sound. 
Subject leaves through the front door with tasks being complete. Okay, that's awesome. But can we go over here? Well, let me. All right, let's go home. To our child, to our baby boy. Yeah, no, we just we just gonna go home. Shit, not there. Go home. Y'all see that? Fucking bro was just like crawling. Anyway, boss two, end of night one. Subject finishes task and heads home. This marks the first time the entity was captured on film. Subject remains unaware of the entity. All right. That's open. We should probably close that. That's probably where he got in. Pause three, beginning of night two. Entity has not been seen since previous night. No employee is aware of presence of entity. Entity becomes more aggressive. Subject begins after hour work. Subject checks computer for their nightly task. Okay, now real talk though. Like, how much are we getting paid for us to do this shit, right? Cause like, this isn't taking hours. This is not taking hours for us to complete, right? So unless they're giving us like, let's say an extra $20 on top of her base pay, like let's say we get paid like $17 an hour. If they're like, oh yeah, we'll give you $20 for you to do these nightly tasks then. Oh, that's that's understandable because it's taking less than an hour. So, you know, that's valid. But if they're giving us base pay and we're taking less than an hour to do it, not worth it. Anyway, hey Ashley, could you start with the bathroom trashes, meeting room and entrance trash? Oh, also the dishes, oh. Oh, also the dishes. Check your email once you're done. I might think of something else. Thanks, James. All right, Mr. James. Got me over here doing the most. Can you people not, like, hire actual janitors? Like, hello? So, bro, said meeting room, which is right here. Let's take that. He said the, the front entrance, which should be over there. But, like, yeah, like, how can you not hire actual janitors to do this shit, right? Like, be for real. Oh, he said bathrooms too. Actually, hold on. Let's take the bathrooms first because they're right here. So let's do that. He said dishes, which is probably break room. Alright, let's do this. Funniest sound effect in the game ever. I swear to God, that is the funniest fucking sound effect for me throwing trash. It's just so unnecessarily loud and angry. She's so mad. No. Oh. No. Oh, wait. Nope. Oh, there we go. Let's take this. All right, shit. Oh, there it is. Let me take that. The fuck? Okay, so why why are we doing this extra shit, right? Like, why are we doing this whole ass animation when in the other ones you just go, like, be for real. Okay, Ashley. Okay, Ashley, do better. Do better. Anyway. So that thing doesn't even look that threatening for real. Like, do you guys see his body joints? It looks, he looks really kickable. So, I think we could take him one on one. She's just done with this job. She is so over it. God, he's just like wandering around. He doesn't have anything to fucking do. He's just chilling. Dishes. Alright. Two. Let's get the last one. Really? You can't fucking stack the three dishes together and be for real. Nobody hold also nobody holds their dishes like that. That's like the grossest way you could hold the dishes because there's like crumbs in there. I would never hold a dish like that. 
Always hold them from the bottom. And stack them too. It's easier. Thirty-one years of experience. I still can't. Mm -mm. Doesn't even know how to hold them for real. Uh, let's go check our email. Oh, you are my happy place. All right. Hey Ashley. Oh, make sure to refill the printer in the meeting room. Meeting room. There should be some paper in the storage room near the breaker. That should be all for tonight. All right, sounds good. Let's go do that and make our way home. It was a pretty nice office, not gonna lie. They got they got good plants. Do we also take care of the plants? Like you know, water them unless they're plastic. If they're plastic plants, that's kind of sad. That means they don't care about the. If you work at a place where you where you guys have plants and they're plastic plants and not actual plants, just know that they don't care about the workers. Because if they can't take care of a single plant, they can't take care of the workers. So think about that. Think about that for a second. I'm just bullshitting, but like, I don't know. Interesting to think about, you know? All right. And let's make our way back home. Or not. You right with that one, Ashley. Oh, we have to get a flashlight. Oh, never mind. She just had one on her. Okay, Ashley, I see you. You're prepared for everything, huh? Okay, so we gotta go to breaker. Damn. What the fuck happened here? Right. Okay, well. Entity stocks nearby. It does. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get out of here. Let's let's get the fuck out. <gasps> okay. Go home. No! What are you doing? Go home! Bitch, get your ass out of here! Damn! Bro is literally chasing after us. Strange behavior to lay and stock and spray is best documented tonight too. Despite its close encounters, subject remains unaware of entity and dismisses the event as a break-in. Okay, so we just think it's a break-in. We don't know that there's actually this whole spider-looking thing coming after us. Interesting. Storage, camera nine, secure link. <laughs> Me for real. Anyway, pause five, beginning of night three. Subject begins after hours. All right, let's do this shit, Ashley. Urgent, open now. Hey, Ashley, like I discussed with you morning, I'm deeply sorry about what happened yesterday. I've given the security guard extra hours. Unfortunately, something has been messing with our cameras, so we won't have footage. Take it easy. Tonight, just do the storage room trash, meeting room trash, and dishes. Thanks, James. P.S. Please don't tell the rest of the employees we had a break in. Isn't this something we should discuss with everyone and be like, yo, we might have had people break in yesterday night. So if you see any such shit, make sure you, you report it. I'm not just trying to keep this under wraps, James. I'm pretty sure that like violates several um, work work environment codes. That That is not a safe environment, like a work environment. Uh -uh. If you guys are ever under that, um, what's it called? That type of... Work environment, quit. Put in your two weeks notice. It's not worth it. If you don't care about your safety, leave. Go home. I hate how we can't go in. Like, that shit's clearly open. But they just won't let us go in. Whatever. Anyway. He said... I completely forgot what he said. I'm just gonna go to every room. Trash? Yeah, okay. Well, that's the office, that's where we came from. Oh wait, there's a room right here. More dishes. That ass. 
How decorumless do you have to be to not be able to, like, clean up after yourself? And put the dishes where they go. Like, you're telling me you use the work dishes, but you can't fucking clean them? <laughs> I'm cleaning them with the trash bag. As you should, actually. As you should. If these people can't fucking clean after themselves, clean that shit with the trash. Unbelievable. No decorum whatsoever. Do better. And let's get the last one. So I'm pretty sure I'm missing a bag of trash. Oh, wait, no, I already picked it up. Well, that shit's locked. Okay. Oh, that's probably where the guard is. Wait, but they said that the cameras weren't working, so... Why have him there? There's a phone ringing. Oh, it's over here. You know. Ashley, a recorded call entity. Oh. Hello? Okay. Pause. How the. Because he has four legs, right? So how did he get on a call, put in the number, and said, yeah, like what? Subject is lured away by a free phone call. The power is cut, but the phone remains on. It is assumed the subject also noticed this. Uh, not again. Okay, so let's go. Fix the power. Assuming this is a break-in. <gasps> oh, my God. oh shit! It was the guard. Oh shit! I gotta get out of here. Bro, kill them. <laughs> oh, what is that? Why have that? That is so unnecessarily loud. <gasps> He's right behind me. Run, 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 run. What? Oh, I gotta go in. Oh, I gotta go. Wait, wait, wait. Fucking controls. 911, what's your emergency? Crisis actor. Yo, it's not even There's a 911. Oh, what's a go operator? Me. It's a fucking crisis actor. I need you to remain calm. Okay, I'm exploring what a crisis you? actor is after this. I'm at first floor in one of the offices. Please just send somebody to help me. Does the intruder have any weapons? No. No, it, it's not a human. I'm like, one this one's on four legs? Ma'am, are you on any medication or substance? Oh, that is so fucked, dude. No! Are you taking me seriously? She's a for single mother, bro. Be for real. Someone. Officers are on the way. You should remain in place and hide if possible. This actor is like people that the government hires or has implemented within like um, national like tragedies and they'll have them be there and act a certain way like they'll either have them act like surprise or th they just have them act you know what let me look up the description of that so you guys can like get a better understanding because right now I'm, I'm explaining it like shit but anyway pause six subject's death Subject was killed by entity during phone call with crisis actor. To continue the entity capability test, agents were deployed to clean the scene. Such that call center employees suspect nothing. That actually reminds me of a TikTok sound, the one where it goes like... And if you think that we're... Uh, it and remember kids, if you think the government wouldn't do that... Remember kids, the next time that somebody tells you the government wouldn't do that, oh yes they would. Hand me the peroxide and let's get this over with. 
We got your ED agents. Okay, they, they're not even wearing bio suits. Like, just plain old clothing. Pause 7, cleanup. With both subjects and security guard bodies disposed, the scene was ready for more testing. The entity returned to the scene, 03-24-1996. The following are brief clips that happened at 6.03 p.m. The behavior and abilities of entity will be discussed after. All right, let's see what happens. Oh. At 6 3 p.m., making use of ceiling space, entity positions itself at the entrance. Phone lines were promptly cut after the first victim's death. Damn. That is fun. <laughs> Bro, look at the way it's walking. You could easily kill it. 2v1. And there's an ERD agent standing outside. That is so fucked. That is definitely a, a thing the US government would do, though, just to keep everything under wraps. Oh, that is so messed up. Damn. He just bodied everyone. Nobody could, like, grab a stapler, or scissors, or kill it. Unbelievable. Some people are just useless. you anyway capability test results the entity capability test was a success allowing the classification of entity which will be discussed next slide the mass casualty event was blamed on ashley johnson who after being fired committed a mass shooting media suppression techniques were used to ensure the news didn't escape the local level the reason this is scary is because of how real it is, right? Like, scratch the fucking entities away. Like, the fact that this could happen and has happened is is what makes this scary. And not even the entities, the fucking government itself. Name, Knuckle Walker. ID, E139. Threat, 3. Severe. Containment, 4. Difficult. Utility, 4. Significant. I didn't see teeth there, so, you know... Throw game might be crazy. Entity possesses the ability psychologically torment and kill with ease. Entity is self-aware and acknowledges observations from ERD. Entity is intelligent despite its appearance, being able to use and understand technology to further torment victims. Entity is often dormant with very few sightings. For these reasons, it has been classified three severe. Entity containment score, estimated to be less than 10 entities, capable of using backdoors to disappear. ERD has yet to capture or kill entity. Entity enjoys being chased, setting traps, and hunting ERD agents. Shit, I would too. I would too. For these reasons, it has been classified for difficult. Lastly, entity utility score. It is unlikely to be able to manipulate entity. Entity likely to kill victims once it selects its prey. Entity often psychologically torments victims, potential use, deployment to enemy territory, deployment against EOS, enemy of state, torture interrogation, ERD must learn how to get Entity to target a person of interest. Despite limitations, it has been classified for significant. That's some crazy shit the government will do. Closing notes. Additional funding is needed for the capture of E-139. Additional research is needed to unlock the utility. Additional tools are needed to detect entity to prevent agent death and increase research opportunities. The research into the appearance of backrooms remains the top priority. Backrooms, sorry, backdoors. Control of backdoors could provide a way to capture E-139. Alright. Is that it? It is imperative to maintain strict operational security and keep the general public uninformed of these operations to prevent any unnecessary panic or interference. Yeah. Well, developer and author, Jeremy Fisher. Jeremy, Mr. Fisher, thank you so much for another great game. You really outdid yourself with that one. And the voice actors, you guys did great. Ashley, that was really good. You know, that was really fucking good, Ashley. But yeah, Mr. Fisher, thank you again for another great game. I can't wait to play your last game. And uh, yeah, 
That was the Lancaster series with uh, Crisis at the Call Center. Thanks for watching.